So I wanted to talk to you guys about Social Security and my disability and how that's going fighting with them and how it's going with my medications and the dentist and things like that. So I did go to the dentist. I don't know if you watched my video, but it's a couple videos back um, where I went to I had to get a new dentist because I got a lower tiered um insurance because my social security was dropped and um i had to get on this other insurance just to make it excuse me i just ate some cereal um just so that i could get basic basic care basically is what it does it covers just basic health care basically that's it um, so no extras, no doodle bobs, no, you know, extra services. You get basic and that's it. Also, I use this moisturizer. I don't, I didn't use it just now, but it's too late now. I'll go do another look, hopefully tomorrow, because I got some more palettes coming in from Spoil Lips. So, um, maybe tomorrow I'll go live. Um, let me know what you guys think. Should I go live? Should I not? I'm kind of nervous to do, like, Facebook, Instagram or YouTube, but if you guys really want me want to see me do it again, I'll keep doing different makeups for because I want to do makeup looks for dark skin girls because I honestly don't see a lot of um black makeup um influencers or makeup en enthusiasts. I'm no professional. I've never been to school for it. I just watch tutorials and I since I've been on disability I've just been able to you know try to hone in my craft and see how creative I can be because I'm not usually artistic but I love to play in makeup I've loved makeup since I was a little girl so um I'm really just trying to get in it and get better and get better recording myself doing it so that I can do it for fun and hopefully start making some money on it in a year or two years however long it's going to take for me to you know maybe hopefully become successful at it and if i don't i'm still doing some fun things and people can learn a few things and have a good time with me that's all i really want so anyway so i went to the dentist and i got one root canal one on one um tooth and then i had to um get a prior authorization for my uh porcelain crowns that had to go on my um teeth for my front teeth is like four of them um so they sent off that prior authorization it got denied because they said they didn't send in x-rays but they did send in x-rays in order for it to be <laughs> prior off but anyway they said they didn't get any x-rays so boom i called them um, my doctor's office sent it again, dentist's office sent it again. I got a letter yesterday stating that everything is all denied because my teeth are too poor in bad shape in order to get these crowns. So I bawled my eyes out, was crying all day yesterday. I'm still in a deep, dark place. I'm still in a sad place. I'm still in a scared space. You know, I wanted my teeth fixed for a vacation. I really want to try to look like me and be myself and feel confident and, you know, smile. And I can't do that with the way my teeth are. Um, which is really upsetting because I love to smile. I love to laugh. I like to make other people laugh as well. So that was a bummer. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this um, brow tint. I love this stuff. It's from Ulta. And I just do... No. Don't come at me. I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I don't like overly or super drawn in brows. I don't, I don't want them to look super thick or pointed or anything like that but this brow tint is awesome they have it in black brown other colors and so i just try to make them even they might not be twins but they'll be sisters for today and i'll um sharpen them up with a little bit of concealer so they denied my thing, my case again. So 
I won't be able to get the crowns done. So I have an appointment with them December 2nd. And what we're going to do is just going to go through with what we can do. And they're going to try to make it the best that it can be for now. Um, until I can upgrade my insurance, hopefully here in the next couple months. And then I can go ahead and get the crowns paid for again and try it again with the better insurance. So we'll see. So then I'm going to take my concealer again and I'll just do a little blob on my hand here. Just give it a little squeeze. I love this stuff. When I get some money, which I don't know when that will be, but I'm going to stock up on this and the gloss that I love is so good. So I just put a little dab on my hand for now. And then I'm going to take my Spo Cosmetics brush. How cute is that? And I'm just going to dip it in. And we're just going to finally tune these brows. So that denial letter really stunk for me yesterday it really put me in a very bad vulnerable place um and i'm just trying to come out of a depression and trying to make sure that i don't go back there because i don't want to go back there i don't want to have to you know be sad i just don't want to i want to be as happy as I can be and but I wanted to be happy for vacation and have beautiful teeth all right so we see how that has made them a little bit sharper I don't use a lot of concealer because, again, I have a natural arched, already arched brow. I don't really need a lot. I've never got my eyebrows arched. I've never been to a threader, archer, anything. That's just how they, how they are. So, I keep them that way. So, then, um, I'll go in. I did the foundation. Um, <clears throat> so let's go in with our eyeshadow and and start working on that where is my double-sided so um this is the day trip palette from spoiled cosmetics these are the beautiful colors that are in this palette nice warm vacation size palette so i'm going to just start and go in with this kind of darker maroon color as a base so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just swirl this in a bit just slightly So Crohn's wise, I've been doing pretty good. Um, the medication has been working so far. And I've been loving that for me. Um, so yeah, everything's great. I'm just waiting for vacation time. It's a little bit pinker than I wanted, but it'll do. So what I want to do is I want to kind of, I'm going to try to stack these colors best I can. Again, I'm a beginner. I'm too 
scared to do this live. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can get over myself and do it live. Maybe tomorrow, because I'm going to try to get a nap in before I have to go get the kid. By 2.50. And they only have three days this week. So just tomorrow is left, and they're done for the week. Because it's Thanksgiving! It's going to be so awesome. My mom is cooking. Since we won't be here for Christmas. So I think that's really, 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 really pretty. So then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to st stack another. Um, I'm going to stack another color. So I'm going to try. Maybe I'll just go for this gold right here. I'm going to try to go for this gold. See how that works for me. Swirl it, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it, swirl it. So again, like I said, I wanted to do like a fall orangey type makeup look. So I want this to go right in the crease here. So, I'm really concentrating to try to get these lines right. Um, guys, comment down below what you're doing for Thanksgiving. Are you going to be with family? Are you going to do like a Friendsgiving? Are you going out of town? Um, are you the one that's cooking? Is everyone coming to your house for Thanksgiving? How do you guys... How does your family do Thanksgiving? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? I know a lot of people who don't consider it a holiday. Which I can understand. I know, obviously, it's an American holiday, so I know, like... In the UK and things like that in other parts of the world, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Because, like, why would they? That would be stupid. So let's just load these colors on. And make them pop. And I like them to, like, slowly kind of... Fade into each other. So if you do a circular motion, you can kind of get a more blended look, which is what I want. Because I'm going to stack another darker color. here. I'm not going to do any cut creases today because, I mean, I could, but
ったのだけどさ今。Okay, so I usually just use a napkin because I can continue using the same brush. And then I'm going to I'm gonna put more of an orangey. Or do I want to put in a glittery? Or do I want to put in like a dark? I don't know. Which way should I go, guys? Help! Okay, I think I'm going to dip into the Old Abbey palette. And I want to kind of find like a coffee. Oh, yeah, Crute. That one is kind of what I was looking for. So let's go in with Crute. Let's tap so we don't have any fallout. And then she's going to go. Let's go ahead and go in over here. I want it to be really fall and Thanksgiving like. I might even round off the top a little bit more with some more brown. Darker brown. I like to get it in the corners of my eyes. I usually just pick a color I want to do there. And then... I'm really concentrating, so it's been like 19 minutes. I need to hurry it up. Who wants to watch me do this for that long? Not me. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with like a chocolate. I think I want to. Quickie from the Old Abbey, pa Old Abbey palette, and she's gonna go right up here. And that's going to give me that finish I want.
So this is the kind of finish I want. She crew. What do you think? Fall enough look for you? I think so. Okay, so we got that done. I'm just gonna wet my towel with some finishing spray. And that way I can clean off the colors. So that the next time I'm ready to use, it's already clean. So, think about that. Alright, so next I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do some blush. Uh, I'm going to do some... Blush. If I can find it. I've got so many things in this freaking makeup bag. It's not even funny. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go in this one. I am waiting for my contour palette from Spoil. also vegan cruelty free non-toxic so this is great for kids if you're looking for Christmas gifts for your little girls go ahead and copy some Spoil cosmetics. And then I'm going to use my fan out brush here. Eh. And I'm going to just dip lightly. And we're going to do some highlight. So we're going to. I usually use the highlight palette from Anastasia Cosmetics. Um, but this time I'm just doing all spoiled. We're gonna be spoiled today. So we just make a nice line. Nice shimmer and then shine. What girl doesn't like glitter? I got the Holy Grail palette coming. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait to see how that looks on my skin. I got the contour palette coming. I can't wait for that to come so I can see what that looks like. Okay, I do that and then I usually will go in with like... A bigger brush and I'll just like lightly dust because I'm gonna be using 
some setting spray. I mean, some setting powder. So. And then I'm just going to do a light down the nose. Tip of the nose. Chin here.